Thanks for checking out the fourth episode of Should You Read? And this one is The Unbeatable Squirrel Girl. Should you read The Unbeatable Squirrel Girl? In simplistic terms, yes. Yes, you should read The Unbeatable Squirrel Girl. I'm sorry. Uh, two episodes ago, I did Spider-Gwen. And I was on the fence about that one. And we're doing this other Marvel property, which is The Unbeatable Squirrel Girl. And so... This one, I was more on the yes side. It had one thing in common, actually. Uh, Squirrel Girl, Unbeatable Squirrel Girl and Spider-Gwen both have lesser uh, artwork, in a sense. I mean, just more simplistic, more um, kind of, I don't want to say juvenile, because it's not quite juvenile, but like less clean, less sophisticated, more simplistic artwork. Um, actually, in this case, for Unbeatable Squirrel Girl, it's more, more cartoonish than it is comic, um, which, honestly, it was okay for this for this particular character because tons of comedy. It's, like, kind of straight comedy, uh, although there is some actual, like, fighting involved and stuff like that. Um, but the even with the fighting, there's a lot of comedy to it, uh, and that's one of the big strengths with the Unbeatable Squirrel Girl. <laughs> I will say that initially my friend Rich had said to me, I was asking him because he's big into comics, and I was saying, you know, what comics should I should I get into? What comics should I check out? And he's like, look, this is going to sound like a terrible idea, just like a, a really bad recommend, but The Unbeatable Squirrel Girl, it's really cool, it's really fun. And I was like, okay. I was like, that character sounds terrible, like whoever came up with the concept of a squirrel girl, which they have greenlit for a movie, So and, and it's already been cast. So... At least uh, the titular character of Squirrel Girl has been. So, I mean, there had to be something to it. So I checked it out. Um, the st the story is fun. Like it's fun. Uh, I don't know if some people can get past like the very cartoony artwork. Um, that's a personal thing you'd have to ask yourself. But it's fun. It's just like super fun. Lots of comedy to it. There is the superhero element, so you do get the fighting. You do get a lot of superheroes showing up that you already know if you're familiar with the superhero especially marvel realm of heroes uh you see a lot of re reoccurring villains too that you know about um some big some small and you know it's squirrel girl just bumping into these people but the whole premise is squirrel girl is just trying to have a normal life but she's this superhero so she's trying to balance that and she doesn't really want people to know so there's a lot of comedy in that the other cool thing is she has a squirrel that's her main squirrel she speaks with and is her friend called Tippy Toe. Tippy Toe's a lot of fun. They get get into some really interesting stuff, honestly. And I was very impressed with the creativity behind the storyline, and actually the, the dialogue as well. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's one of the biggest things is that's such an awful concept for a character, and there was so many. There was such like an endearing aspect to the character and the storyline and so much creativity that I'm like, how can you not like this, honestly? It's really nice stuff. So anyway, <clears throat> based off of that, like I said in the beginning, I'm sorry, I'm getting a dry mouth, but because I'm doing a bunch of these in a row, if you can't tell. Uh, but saying that, should you read The Unbeatable Squirrel Girl? Yes, I believe you should read The Unbeatable Squirrel Girl. Now... It's not the most phenomenal comic. Um, it's just fun, light, good stuff. So, with my rating kind of shows that. So, with Comixology, they give you out of five stars you can do. I gave it three stars, but it's a solid three stars. If they were doing halves, I would go with three and a half. So, that kind of gives you an idea. But definitely read it. It's a lot of fun. Unless you just like serious comics, then it's definitely not for you. But I would say read it. Very nice. Anyway, if uh, that wraps this up. If people have ideas of comics you want me to review, you can email me at brutalbattlepodcast at gmail.com. And brutal is spelled B-R-E-W-T-A-L. Um, you can also throw in stuff if you want me to do reviews on TV shows or movies, and I'll see what I can do. Uh, but this has been Should You Read, and it's The Unbeatable Squirrel Girl. Thank you, everyone, for checking this out. Brutalbattlepodcast at gmail.com. And until next time, keep it brutal.